the Vilna Gaon prophecy. Netanyahu is Mashiach ben Yosef. The Vilna Gaon is a famous rabbi born in 1797. His full name is Elijah ben Solomon Zalman. In Hebrew, his name is Rabbi Eliyahu ben Shlomo Zalman. He made a prophecy about the future redemption of the Jewish people and about the arrival of the Messiah, which they call the Mashiach. This process involves two messiahs. The first one is a man of war who is called Mashiach, Ben Yosef. The other one comes to bring resolution and peace, and he will be Mashiach, Ben David. I have good reason to believe that Benjamin Netanyahu is their Mashiach, Ben Yosef. Benjamin Netanyahu is a relative of the Vilna Gaon. Everyone knows that Netanyahu is an Ashkenazi Jew. His original last name before he changed it was Mileikovsky. Wikipedia says, While his family is predominantly Ashkenazi, he has said that a DNA test revealed him to have some Sephardic ancestry. He claims descent from the Vilna Gaon. He was given a reward from the Lithuanian people in 2020, a stamp and a coin celebrating the Vilna Gaon. Gaon simply means genius, as they thought he was brilliant. Wikipedia says that according to legend, he had committed the Tanakh to memory by the age of four, and at aged seven, he was taught Talmud. He also possessed a photographic memory. By eight, he was studying astronomy during his free time. From the age of 10, he continued his studies without the aid of a teacher, and by the age of 11, he had committed the entire Talmud to memory. Okay, let's just dive right in. It's found in a book called the Kol Hator. It is about how they believe their redemption is going to come about, which will occur in the sixth millennium. And we're in the sixth millennium right now. We've been here around 6,000 years. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to give you a summary and share the highlights. This prophecy is about 200 years old. Yet they predicted another ingathering to Israel, where the Jews returned once again. Immediately, the prophecy talks about this Messiah ben Joseph. And it also talks about an angel named Metatron. Messiah ben Joseph's mission will be to remove the unclean spirit from the land. He will come when the awakening comes from below. Strangely, this is repeated a lot through the text, that some kind of awakening comes from below. Then the rabbi thinks that the Lord told him that he will hasten it. Now I remember a video recording of when Netanyahu was much younger and Rabbi Schneerson, who many Jews thought was the Messiah back then, told him to hasten the Messiah's return. Then he's supposed to take possession of the land by conquest. I'm going to read this word for word now. And how will you take possession of it? By establishing your claim. How does one establish a claim? This is done by building and planting, as seen in the law in general with regard to the possession of the land. This is in line with what was done by Ezra and Nehemiah. However, when necessary, force may be used. How did this rabbi get these secret prophecies? He says he got them through Gematria. It's otherwise known as the magic art of numerology. Now let's see who they're at war with. It says their war against Amalek. Gee, where did I hear that before? You must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our Holy Bible, and we do remember and we are fighting our brave troops and combatants who are now in Gaza or around Gaza and in all other regions in Israel. The prophecy states that Amalek includes every aspect or any enemy of Israel. Then after that they predict the Gog and Magog war will begin. 
then and only then will their Messiah Ben David finally arrive. And the whole redemption, I mean the entire redemption, depends. It depends upon this. Learning the Kabbalah and teaching Kabbalism and the Talmud as well. They say to follow the Torah of Israel which is the Jerusalem Talmud. So Christians are under the impression that they read the first five books of the Old Testament. When really, when they say the word Torah, they mean their Talmud, not our Bible. Now they start discussing elements of the Kabbalah tree. It says Messiah ben Joseph is from above and that his light should not go out. It's the light that connects the middle column of the Shekinah with the Father in Heaven, and it's the center bolt that connects the Yesod and the Melkut. Another name for Melkut is Shekinah. Shekinah is the name for their Holy Spirit. It says here that the mission of Yosef is to reunify Yesod with Melkut. I explained what the Yesod is in a previous video of mine. And they call him Adam Kadman. The first letter is Yod, the germ, the life, the flame, the cause, the one, and the most fundamental of the Jewish phallic emblems. The Yod represents God's creative part, otherwise known as God's penis. And this is the reason for all these phallic symbols that you see in Freemasonry because Freemasonry is based on the teachings of the Kabbalah. Next, the prophecy talks about a winged creature called Metatron that arrives on the scene. At the end of the closing chapter, it's basically talking about numerology at length and about how one's destiny is all wrapped up in numerology and that they can only fulfill their purpose that their name numerically destines them to achieve. And if they have a name that adds up to something negative, well, change your name. Maybe that's why Netanyahu changed his name. You know, I really see a resemblance between Netanyahu and his relative, the Vilna Gayon or Eliyahu ben Shlomo Zalman. They do look quite alike. You know, in this prophecy, they quote little bits and parts and snippets of psalms and proverbs and things like that, but they ignore that the Bible tells them, the Old Testament tells them, not to participate in divination. And numerology is divination. You know, the book of Revelation says that Everyone who practices magic arts is thrown in the lake of fire. Read the Bible at face value. It means what it says. You don't have to go looking for secret numerological meanings. To anyone who is watching this, Jesus was the Messiah. He was the true Messiah and he is the only one that can save you.